Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name's Max and today we're back on the zoo world and we're going to be building a sloth enclosure today. That's um, the plan. Before we get started though, I want to show you some off-camera work that I did. This we built last episode, it's just the signage that says welcome to Animal Island. And then on the back I just added some vines that are eventually going to grow a bit longer and look cool. Also, I did a bit of this area, which is the like welcome area where you have like a gift shop and like a cafe and such. Uh, so there's just this massive fountain in the middle with some benches and the floor is made of bricks. I've put these little like flower box things and then these like tree things as well. So I didn't do that on camera because it's just like scenery, it's nothing specific. So I'm probably going to continue to do that. And over here, I've mapped out some of the jungle section. The plan is to turn that island over there into like a big cat island, which will have the tigers and the panthers on it. Because they need a lot more space than the other ones, because they've got bigger territory and of course they're bigger animals. The bit we're working on today is the sloth enclosure, which is here, this little area. And it looks quite small, but sloths are quite small and also they don't move around a lot. So they don't need too much space. They're also solitary creatures, so it's not like they're going to be all crowded in there. I'm just going to have one. I'm going to put the dimensions up on screen if you want to build along with me. You don't really need to have this like back hill bit that I've dug into if you don't want to. First we're going to need some oak leaves and some jungle logs. I'm going to carve out this layer of the hill and replace that with leaves. Hopefully the audio is a bit better today. I'm recording the audio with my phone instead of my headset. So the only issue there might be that you can hear me on the keyboard or something. I'm just gonna build up the back of the hill a bit more now. Next, we're gonna go to all of the corners and add some jungle log pillars. We're going to get out some spruce planks, some spruce fences and some spruce stairs to build up the wall on this area here. So we're going to do one layer of planks and then another layer of fences and another layer of fences. And the top layer is going to be some upside down stairs. For these gaps here, we're going to replace the ground underneath with some jungle planks. These gaps are the ones that are closest to the path, so these are going to be the ones that you can see through. We're going to get some glass panes out, and we're just going to fill in all of the gaps with those. And we are of course going to need a way for the keepers to get in to feed the sloth, so over here I'm just going to make a little tunnel, <laughs> tunnel looking thing that goes through and into the enclosure. I'm going to replace this section of the hill with some jungle planks. Right, I've added a little roof to that section. The around it with the... All the dirt around it is making it look a little bit ugly. I'm not quite sure what I'll do about that. We'll fix that in a minute, I guess. I'm going to push back the dirt just by a block so that the hut bit is sticking out a bit more. And inside, I'm going to change all the walls to planks as well. I'm going to chuck in an oak door here and here and that way the keepers can get in to look after the sloth. And I'm going to put a little sign up here saying keepers only. To make sure that the imaginary visitors don't go in there. Alright and now we can start building the inside of the enclosure. So I want to add some trees, well fake trees, to the corners here, add some branches with the fences and the sloth needs a little place to sleep so I'm going to make a little tree house for her. So we're going to get a jungle trap door, this is going to be the sort of door to the tree house and we're going to get some spruce stairs to hold it up, I'm going to add some branches to the tree gonna open up the trapdoor and hollow out the space inside 
so that the sloth has a little place to go. We're going to add a tree here as well. And we're going to hollow out this little area of the ground to make a little water source because sloths actually do quite like to swim. Now we're going to get the oak leaves back out and we're going to add a little canopy to the enclosure to remind the sloth of home in the jungle. While I'm decorating the enclosure, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the sloth that we've got. There are six different types of sloth, which you may or may not know. They are called the Hoffman sloth, the Linnaeus sloth, the brown-throated sloth, the main sloth, the pale-throated sloth, and the pygmy sloth. And I wanted to figure out what sort of sloth we've got because on the name for the spawn egg, it's just labelled sloth. So I had a look at it off camera and I was trying to figure out what it was. First of all, I needed to figure out how many toes it had and I did not figure that out because the way the mob's designed, it's got one massive toe instead of like multiple toes, which may or may not have been deliberate. But there are other ways to determine whether a sloth is three-toed or two-toed. For example, three-toed sloths have a much longer neck and our sloths got rather a stubby neck and so you could probably guess that it was a two-toed sloth and what's more, two-toed sloths are actually a little bit more active than three-toed sloths which isn't really saying much because sloths, as you know, are not very active but our sloth did seem pretty active it would stay still for like two seconds and then start moving again which is probably pretty unusual for a sloth so we're going to say it's two-toed sloth and there are two types of two-toed sloth the Linnaeus sloth and the Hoffman sloth and the difference between those is that a Linnaeus sloth has a more pale pigment in the fur around their face and their hands and our sloth definitely has that so our sloth is therefore a Linnaeus sloth. However the pygmy sloth and the main sloth are the only types of endangered sloth and the reason they're endangered is because they're endemic which means that they only live in one specific area and that one specific area that they live in is being deforestationed so they're losing their habitat and being forced out of it so our sloth isn't one of those sloths but sloths are endangered they're not seriously endangered they are classed as threatened on the endangered animals list but if you would like to donate to help the sloths i've got a link in the description where you can give some money or if you'd like to buy some merch from their shop, the profits from that goes to the charity as well. And if you'd like any more information about sloths, I've left a couple links for that as well. And I reckon that that is finished. That looks like a pretty finished sloth enclosure to me. So we're now going to spawn our sloth. Ta-da! Here is our sloth. And as you can see, as I was saying earlier, pale pigment around the face and the hands and a short stubby neck. And so that the sloth can't climb out accidentally and start running around the place, I'm going to place some invisible blocks down over the top. And I know this isn't very realistic because those do not exist in real life, but I couldn't think of anything else to put down because all the other blocks would sort of like ruin the look of it. I didn't want to put leaves down because then it would sort of ruin the canopy effect because it would look like that was just the roof. And also like iron bars or fences would have looked really weird. So now it looks just the same as before except you can see there's blocks and I can't fall down when I walk on it. So the only way to get in is through the little door here. Come and see the sloth who is having a little drink it seems and speaking of drink we need a place to put the food for the sloth now sloths like to eat twigs and berries so I'm gonna get some of those out now berries uh, it didn't say berries I said fruit so I'm guessing it apples as well but I don't think you get apples in the jungle they don't really have a wide variety of uh, fruit yet and where is the sticks there we go I'm going to get a barrel and we're going to make a little storage thing in here to put the fruit in. 
and there you go that is our sloth enclosure the last thing we need to do now is just give our sloth a name oh look she's having a little swim oh that is so cute hey oh the, the animations of this pack is just so good so i was thinking of giving her a name with like a z in it like ziggy or zola or Zena or something like that last episode i asked you to leave some name suggestions and i have no idea if you did that or not because i've not posted last episode yet so i'm gonna say the same for this episode leave some name suggestions for all the different animals and also some animal suggestions because we've got lots of animals not every animal because there's lots of animals in the world we've only got about like 50 i'd estimate we've got quite a few so let me know what your favorite animal is and i'll be sure to include it and i have settled on the name zola for our sloth so i'm gonna name this one but you guys can name all the other ones next episode i'm probably gonna be building a bit more of the entrance way like the gift shop and the cafe hope you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe if you did and i'll see you in the next one bye